Hi there, this is Homeschooling with a Smile. Today's video is going to be a quick flip through of the Life Pack Math Home Curriculum Kit for Kindergarten by Alpha Omega Publications. Now, if you're familiar with Life Pack and AOP, you're probably um, noticing that these are different covers. Um, this year, they I don't know if they've started it this year, but they're going to be done rolling out all these um, new covers on all their material, I think by the summertime. But in the meantime, they might have some boxed sets that have mixed covers. So when you, you call, if covers are an issue for you um, and you want everything to kind of look uniform, you might want to ask before you place your order. Um, I didn't mind at the time, so I said that I'd, I'd be fine with it because I wanted to get a flip through of this and to see if it would be the right fit for our family. So far, it's it's great. Um, none of the material inside has been affected or changed. It quite literally is just the covers that are different. Um, my box that I purchased from the publisher um, states right here that it's mixed cover, and I'll show you what that means. So I got two of the student workbooks that have the new covers, and then um, the teacher's guide came in the old cover. And that's fine with me. Um, as long as all the material is there, nothing is different from one set to the other. I think the only problem that someone might have with this is resale value. Once the new covers come out, um, these might kind of feel old and obsolete, even though the material is the same inside. Um, Alpha Omega has a lot of different uh, curriculums. They also are the publishers of Horizons. Um, they have a curriculum called Weaver, which is a unit studies curriculum. They also have two others, um, well, the Life Packs, and they have something called Switched on Schoolhouse, which is a CD-ROM I'm learning. Um, but this looked um, the most appealing to us, um, this and Horizons. I really like how Horizons is, is laid out, and I probably will check that out soon. Um, I'm just not sure how we're going to do with our other um, math curriculum and this one, and then I'll kind of just weed it out. Because this is our first year of homeschooling, we have got a lot of different curriculums and I only purchase things that we that I've done a lot of research on and that I absolutely think would be a great fit um, in theory. I just don't know how it's going to work in practice and um, I know that sounds a, a little bit crazy but I'm just kind of wanting to make sure all my bases are covered for this first year and I know like a lot of other homeschoolers have said, you kind of just learn what you can go without. For me, so far, I haven't gotten to that point. And once I'm through the first year, I'm sure um, I'll know what I need and what I don't need. And curriculum is just something that is super appealing to me. Um, I am so amazed about how many curriculums are out there and all the studies that go into putting these things together. And I'm just kind of like in awe of them so I'm kind of becoming like this curriculum junkie uh, pardon the the expression there but um, anyway let me do a quick flip through of the teachers guide so there's a hundred and eighty lessons in this curriculum and let's see here oh it's, I'm sorry 160 did I say 180 I meant 160 and um, Yes. Mommy, that was a shawl. Oh, it wasn't a shawl? No. Okay, I think another Umizoomi is coming on. Do you want to watch that real quick while I finish my video? Okay. It was commercials. Okay, I'll take a look, okay? Okay, my son just woke up from his nap and he wasn't in a particularly good mood, so I let him watch a um a show, but apparently had too many commercials. Uh, anyway, um, so so there's 160 lessons, and I can kind of show you how I've broken it down thus far for my daughter. Um, so it's looking like um, for math, we're gonna do um, a lesson a day for the first seven weeks, so Monday through Friday, and then on weeks eight and nine, we're doing uh, three lessons week eight and two lessons week nine. 
and then it'll kind of um, work out like this all the way through. We might, um, it might change up a little bit here. So that'll get our 36, um, 36 weeks in of math. And um, I think it's gonna be a really good fit. But in case you're wondering how to um, space it out, it's pretty much five days, the first quarter up until um, the seventh, uh, the eighth week, and then it, it's three lessons and two lessons, or you can break it down, two lessons, um, three lessons, however you wanna do it. That's just how I did it. Um, so there's 160 lessons. And there's not that much. That's not, there's not that much paper. Um, paper. There's not that many workbook pages to do, and the lessons seem pretty short. So here's um, a lesson one, and there's the objectives. It tells you the materials and what teaching pages that that the kids are have to do. And here's just a sample of what it looks like in their book with full color, of course. And here, and that's it for lesson one. And then it goes on to lesson two. So it introduces new concepts um, pretty quickly, but then it builds upon them in the lessons that come after. So for example, if you're working on, like this one is shapes, circle, square, triangle, and uh, rectangle, and then colors. Um, it tells you colors, but then it goes into specific colors and objects. Um, that are big and then it'll introduce something new like directions um, and then I'll still be using the colors it'll still be using uh, shapes and then I'll add something else that's new so I really like how this is laid out and I've already done um, 18 weeks worth so I planned out 80 lessons and I'm gonna do the rest of it tonight um, the other 80 lessons but it seems pretty simple and easy and it's very scripted. It tells you exactly what to say to your student. And I think this is gonna be a really good fit um, for one of my kids. So that's just kind of a, a quick look at the teacher's guide. Um, the math, had the back of it has some evaluations. Um, and of course this is the teacher's key, so it gives you all the answers. So that's about it. So here is book one. It's very colorful. This is the lesson one. I'm gonna write their name. You're gonna learn about Sam and Jip. Right there, that's lesson one, that's all done. And then it goes into um, lesson two, Big Little. And as you can see, shapes. So this is a Christian curriculum, so you're going to see a lot of Bibles and crucifixes and um, different Bible um, references, some pages to color that have biblical figures, um, which is totally not a problem with us because we're a Christian family, but um, if you are looking for secular curriculum, this, this wouldn't be a good fit. Um, so yeah, so I'm pretty excited. So that's book one. It's harder as it goes. I love that it has color and it reminds me a lot of um, Horizons. I don't think this moves as quickly as Horizons does from what I've noticed, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, so they touch upon time, counting to 200, um, new shapes, lots of different concepts. Um, so this is going to be great. I think I'll be able to measure um, her true grade level um, once we worked through this a few lessons. I just, coming from the public school, it's hard to gauge right now. My other daughter, I have a clear representation of her abilities because she's at an above grade, grade level and she's um, shown that through her work. So um, I'm happy keeping her in the math one um, and if you've seen one of my other videos I did a um, a video for the math one that we're putting uh, one of my children in so anyway that's my video for today uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, please subscribe and like this video thanks for watching